Hey guys, what's going on? Final Boss here. We're back with another video. Not feeling super hot, but I got a couple treats for you guys today, and uh, I wanted to get it out. Special Halloween and everything like that. Um, so for starters, the tornado's coming out. Uh, guys, what's going on? There's four new cards coming out. I mean, I, this game is starting to feel... I, I used to... Everybody was like, hey, yeah, you know, it's pay to win, it's pay to win. Now this is feeling like a... a a money grab game. I mean, this was a, this is an awesome game. I love this game, and but with these cards, no one's gonna be able to keep up. I mean, like an epic. Like there's gonna be people up on top that are gonna have this thing maxed out that have a bunch of money. I mean, it's just not gonna be. I, I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I I think it's I, I don't I'm not happy about it. I'm I'm really not. And this card right here, I mean, it's it's practically the death to the hog rider. I mean, it's I already feel like it's getting it's already getting bad for the hog. But you guys know me, I'm a big hog hog guy. Um, actually created uh, with Rebel the the best hog deck in the game. That is one that's being currently used right now, both variations, uh, with no street cred by the way. Little little salty on that, but okay, it's okay. We'll get Rebel back onto a call, and we'll talk about that here in the future. And uh, how we created that, and how we uh, went about uh, how we went about making that deck as well. Um, so yes, this rage, uh, the rage, and the tornado will have the same radius, guys. Um, radius is five. Rage is huge. So you guys can imagine that this thing is going to be being dropped on the other side of the bridge, pulling troops back onto another side, giving it more chance for you to gather it up. Maybe getting it for a big fireball. Maybe I don't. I don't know. It's gonna be crazy to see it. Like pull a golem back. Maybe if you need more time with your slightly nerfed inferno, which you know that was kind of only counter to these big cards. Now they just want these big cards just pounding down on you. I mean, I just, I just don't even know, guys. This, I, I'm just really, really. I, it seems cool. I'm gonna play it, of course, and of course I'm gonna have a video, guys, for you. But I, I just don't know how I feel about it. it just. I just feel like this one, this one's gonna be, uh, this one's gonna be a highly used card. I truly believe it. So, uh, especially at a low cost of three, it's definitely gonna be used. Uh, so let's go on ahead and show you guys some uh, first ever live action shots of the tornado being used. was my trick and now it's time for the treat we're going to be doing a 10,000 gem tournament all right guys i'm going to be posting it and uh by the way if you guys don't know what i fly is that's indoor skydiving i went and did that just for the sole purpose of this video had a complete and total blast doing it uh, and maybe when i hit like 10,000 subscribers or something i'll do a real skydive uh, I, I'm, I'm scared. I, I can't lie. I'm, I can't. I'm, I am scared. But I'm going to keep at this. Maybe learn the uh, next time I go there, I'm going to learn how to do some turns and stuff like that besides just being uh, being able to maintain the neutral fly position. <laughs> so uh, that was a trick and that is a treat. So um, guys, 10,000 gym tournament. I'm going to put the into the comment section. And please don't leak it to Facebook and Twitter and all that. Just as for you guys, okay? Seriously, I I might open it up at the end if there's only like you know a hundred people or something like that. But this is for you guys. Tell your clanmates it's going on. I mean, I really appreciate you guys coming and giving me the support. I know I'm not as big of a channel as some of these other guys, and you know what? I really don't care. I enjoy doing this. Uh, as long as you guys keep showing me your love and appreciation, then we'll continue doing this. So. I just want to say thank you guys, and uh, like I said, the, the trick and the treat, I, I, I thought that was funny and a little slightly clever. But uh, anyway, we're going to go on ahead and get into this right here. So uh, Bryn Chong apparently announced that he had a maxed out freaking graveyard. Look at these stats, guys. What What is this? I don't even, I don't even know. Cause this doesn't even math for me right now. I, I don't even understand. But apparently 2.5 million gems. I, I'm guessing that's a few thousand dollars for a maxed out. I'm not even sure this was Brad playing. Uh, I'm pretty pretty under understanding that he doesn't play his own account. I don't know these things. Cannot confirm. Cannot deny. I don't know. But uh, we're gonna go on ahead and show you guys what a max graveyard looks like. The uh, besides insanity. 
All right. So uh, anyway, happy Halloween. I don't know if you guys celebrate this in your country. Is that just an American thing? Uh, I, I heard something about the Canadians give out syrup and I don't know. I, I'm not even sure what he was saying, one of our Canadian guys in our clan. Um, I was laughing at it. So yeah, he puts down his minor guys and we got down. Uh, yeah. And, and here's the thing with the graveyard. You have to put it away from the king tower because the stupid little skeletons run over there and slap them. So, and that practically it practically ruins the whole the whole thing. So we went ahead and did a little counter push with the hog. Uh, we were able to get a fireball down there a little late, but uh, whatever. Um, yeah, that was that's crazy. But yeah, if you guys hit the king tower with the graveyard, um, you guys were you won't be able. To, it's pretty practically ruins it because the king tower locks on to the graveyard and is able to uh, you know, assist you out with that. So you're practically done at that point. So put it away. Uh, so we dropped the princess down, get a little chip shot in. He uh, we almost got two shots in there, um, and. I didn't know what to do there. We were sitting on Max Elixir. See a bowler, so whenever you see a bowler and you got a hog, obviously pushing the other lane, smart move. Uh, he wasn't able to do anything with the Ice Spirit being there, so he waited. Uh, our Mega Minion is going to go on ahead and clean that up since he has his Mega Minion uh, going down on the other side. So we put our one Elixir Skeletons in the center to bring the Mega Minion back, so to distract, guys. That's the only main reason and whole purpose of the one Elixir Skeletons is to distract. Um, <clears throat> so we put our princess down on the other side because that is the strategy with princess. You don't want it on the same lane where he can inflict damage upon you. And uh, now with the quick fireball to take that out, we were able to, uh, the, the, his maxed out graveyard is not going to do diddly. So that's it. So we put our princess down, taking some chip shots, and we have taken the lead, obviously. Um, I put down the hog there. I, I don't. That was that was a mistake. That was a bad bad hog rider. But we were sitting on Max Elixir. I uh, had to do something. So this we're cycling really really fast. Uh, so we put our Mega Minion in the back, guys. And now we're gonna go on ahead and drop the. Uh, we were gonna drop the Ice Spirit in the very very back, but I went ahead and put that in the front. Um, <clears throat> I, I love it when the uh, the Ice Spirit somehow squeaks it in past the bowler and jumps on him and it's and that's just awesome but we went ahead and fireballed to take down uh, the mega minion as best as we can we got the mega minion locked onto the miner and then we had a princess chip it away with the king tower uh, this game is practically as good as gone as soon as we unless we can sit here and just fireball him out um, because that's that's just what this game is going to end up being so um, yeah He puts out his Ice Wizard, stops the Mega Minion. Not a real threat. Uh, we're gonna able to uh, seal the deal here, guys. With the Fireball, we were able to squeeze in our Hog after he did his minor push, and we gave him the GG. Now, just a few games later, guys, we're playing Brinch Hog again. This is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Um, so I drop him the Wow. I'm like, really? Again? So now I already know that he's going to be playing in his graveyard. So maybe he'll get his graveyard spell right this time. We're not really certain, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so we send down our hog. Uh, it was our first card, uh, getting in some hefty damage. He put down his ice spirit, uh, his ice whiz. Ice whiz is still the best defensive card. And look at this, guys. Our princess shot the minions and then retargeted onto the miner. I don't know what's going on, but this retargeting stuff is just getting crazy. Um, we go on ahead and put down our hog, and then the log combo where we're gonna be able to get in one hit, almost two hits, and uh, our mega minion takes down the musketeer. And now we're chipping away over here on the right side, guys. And that's what you want to do is uh, you want to kind of put, you always want to push two lanes kind of with this deck. So you always want to have the princess on the other side, and you always want to have the princess on the side that has the least damage. So you don't want him like arrowing. So uh, he missed on the he missed the ice whiz there. Uh, he tried to put that a little bit on the uh, the right side of his king tower, like looking forward towards us or whatever or left side if you're looking at us. Um, so we could go on and hit that. So we're gonna go on ahead and hit the log there. That's gonna clean up the little skeletons. And now we're gonna get two hits in here with the hog, and that is way okay with us. That's like over 800 damage, right? Um, with the max hog. Um, if I, I'm happy with every time I put down a hog if I get one hit like literally that that's uh, that's winning that's winning gameplay 
Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drop the Ice Spirit down. Um, no, we're not. Or are we? We're not. We're going to go on ahead and put the Inferno down, but we're waiting for Max Elixir. Go on ahead and take care of that. Uh, normally there is lightning going on, but he's trying to use the graveyard kind of instead of lightning, I think. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the gameplay is. But I'm at, I don't even have a graveyard on my main account right now, uh, which sucks. And uh, what also sucks is uh, the lag I'm experiencing with the air server. And I still need some issues here. I don't know how to fix it. I am seriously over air server. But I want to get a video out to you guys. So thank you for putting up with my crappy quality videos. But one day I will get it. See, now he learned from his mistakes, guys. And he put down a better graveyard. But a log's going to be able to take care of all that and a mega minion. Um, I played with that a little bit on my, my other account. Uh, I didn't get to play a ton on it. Um, but we were... Uh, yeah, just a fireball here, some good defense. He's not going to be able to place down a golem in enough time to really get a, a, a big push. So he's practically turned this into a minor deck. Um, that was pretty much all the success that I've had with it is just using it on a minor deck. Uh, I know the first replay had like 2.5 million or something like that on there um, when it was reached on TV Royale, but and that was a golem deck. I believe it even won too, but I think it was just kind of a – a new thing and now everybody's kind of seen the graveyard a little bit and it's a new one so i don't know how you guys feel about this game but i mean i love this game i just wish they would fix it and you know what i just feel like just a card coming out every two weeks that just means like hey we want money i get it it's a great game it deserves to get paid but and the people you stop making people buy super magical chess you start making it you know after the tournament thing was all broken and now you've taken away the tournament so i mean it's like I don't know what the solution is, Supercell, but just I just don't think putting out a new card every two weeks is going to be the real solution. I mean, I get it. You're going to end up making people spend money, but I'm not doing it. I'm not going to sit here and spend tons of money on this game anymore like that. I mean, maybe we're just going to end up being doing challenges or whatever just to have to get them. But the, the challenges get old, man. I mean, I'm sitting here like at – how many challenge wins I got? I got – what 60,000 almost 60,000 cards 58,000 cards won I mean guys this it's that's a grind like I get tired of playing the challenges I, I, I don't know what it is but um stay tuned guys in the comment section I'm going to put down the uh the name of the tournament and uh, I'm going to put down the password in there actually I'm probably just going to do the password and let you guys no, no, no. we'll see how I do but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to chime in what you think about the new cards and let me know what you think uh, let me know if you enjoyed the little skydiving video and if maybe you're looking forward to some crazy wacky footage of the real skydive. Maybe I'll, I'll do like what Chief Pat did and like skydive and play Clash Royale. I don't even know if that's, I don't even know if, I, if you can actually legally do that. I don't know. But I, I've seen people hop out with like sharks and all that. So uh, absolute blast. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I can't wait to skydive and, uh, and do all that. But I'm, I want to make it like a treat. So like I think 10,000 is a reasonable number. I'll go on ahead and uh, man up and do that. So as you guys can see, happy Halloween. Went and made a video in here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, y'all. Latest.